the Hungry Hippo stage. That's probably not the best tip in ever. I'll just pretend you didn't see it. It's only an art journal. It's only an art journal. Put the lid on that because knowing me, I'll stick my whole hand in it. So, how are we going to combat the hideous thing in the corner? I'm thinking I might put some acrylic ink over it. This is another one of my tips and tricks of getting something to work now there's a big dip here because my journal is oh my god <sighs> art moments with Courtney you know art moments with Courtney you can't pay me to do this much it's like the universe knows I'm starving and I'm trying to make an art journal page absolutely starving let's try and get some of this ink up make it work I know you're all like cacking yourself this is like art journal bloopers art journal bloopers with Courtney Brook everyone if you need a laugh come watch my art videos I promise you they're worth it We can make it look like it totally happened. For reals. Please stop laughing. I can hear it echoing from Australia. My mom is probably just shaking her head. Because she always used to say, that girl, that girl is so messy. She, My dad, oh my god, my dad's got so many stories. One mainly because I used to do charcoal drawings in high school. And... So I would get my big sketchbook out and I would do my charcoal drawings and I got some on the carpet. And I have, I'm 28 now and I have not lived down the charcoal on the carpet. And whenever he needs to bring out the Courtney or Messy, it's Courtney, do you remember that time you put charcoal on the carpet? How can I forget that? You're always telling me. Okay, so... I have no idea where I'm going from this. I'm still in a state of shock that I spilt a buttload of ink all over my page. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. How to come back from, from such a... Oh, that's really wet. I should probably go and track down my heat gun. And get... Gee, this pen... Someone told me this pen would write over everything. It's not not I'm not happy Let's see what we got what we got this one here we go trying to keep away from that ink because it's I'm too lazy to go get my heat gun so your task if you've already done an art journal page with your photo that's great congrats the next time, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to add, I want you to add a creature to your, to your page and make it work inside your journal page. I want it to not look like you just stuck it on there. So we've worked, we've, we've worked with getting our, our photographs in there without them looking too 
stuck on the page. And now, creatures are a little part of my signature. Oh, these little weird and wonderful little creatures. Now I want you to get a creature into your page and make it look like it was meant to be there. I think that happy accident of the ink totally saved it. We can't see as much of that hideous piece of paper I put down. And I think I could be done. I could be done, girls. I've pulled it off. No. Oh, dear. What do you think? Think I've done it? Think the ghost of Inky Past has saved me? I think so. I'm pretty happy with that. That was a really quick finish. I guess spilling out ink all over your journal is a good way to finish up. I had flowers down here, but they've been a bit, they've got a bit, gotten a bit lost. But that's okay. Not everything needs to be seen. You could put layers and layers and layers and layers of things on a journal page, but only a couple of them get acknowledged. It's all part of the process. Now, if you guys are worried about doing little creatures in your book, they are really, they're really easy, guys. You guys draw faces all the time. So, yeah, this is just giving you a quick idea. Alright, put that there. Let me try and get some of that ink. So, you guys draw faces all the time. So, basically, you get this weird little off center shaped head you give a little bit of a, a body you can give your body as much or as little as you want i sometimes do little little arms like that you can give them ears if you want i've given mine antlers cat ears these are my favorite ears to draw these little they're so simple. Simple lines are what make them that what they are. And then you give them little sad eyes, little eyebrows, another little line there. Give them an eye. A little nose. And a little mouth. It is that simple. A couple of lines and you've got a creature so that is your homework is to get a creature into your page if you've done an art page already using your photographs go ahead get another one started get a creature into your page and make it look like they go together that is your task so that's me that's me done huzzah I hope you enjoyed today's crazy entertainment. I cannot believe that a whole spillage of ink was how it ended. But it ended for the greater good. So next week, I need to go and find another photo to work with. We'll see. Maybe this one. I don't know. We shall see. A lot of you people said to me, don't cover this page up, don't cover this page up. Well, it hasn't been covered up. I will just let it be. Or I might, no, I can't rip it up and give it to Christy because I have that on the back. So I might photocopy a page of it and she can have it. So there we are. I'm going to put some journaling on the back here. On the back. And we're, we're happy campers.
Let's do We're done. Please go get your journals. Have some fun. Don't spill ink. Have a good day.